The Sequoia Scribe student newspaper pre prepares to return to John Sphere Middle School. And the JSMS volleyball player overcomes an injury to rejoin her team. These stories and many more are coming up next on today's episode of the Sequoia Scribe Newscast. The first issue of Severe Middle, the first issue of Severe's Middle School student newspaper will be re released later this month. Good morning, winners. I'm Brody, and I'm Kristen. The first issue of the Sequoia Scribe is set to be, re be released on September the 29th. The issue will feature articles about the new Board of Education members, Keensport IMAX Theater, and a profile of Severe's new Student Council President. The student newspaper won six awards from the Tennessee High School Press Association last year, including an honorable mention for best newspaper. In other news, severe volleyball player Lexi recently suffered an injury during a tournament at ETSU. Maddie has the story. Recently, we had an injury on this volleyball team. We are here to interview and see what happened. The player who was injured was Lexi, an eighth grade volleyball player. So how was she injured? Um, whenever I was playing my ETS, ETSU tournament, I went down to go get a ball on the other side of the court and I fell on my knee. Anytime you lose a player, especially during a tournament, it is extremely difficult. Coach Ferguson explains. The hardest part about replacing Lexi at that time was that we had to go so quickly into the next game. Um, but we had some girls that really stepped up. Casey and Chloe really stepped up to help us set. Um, so that was a big deal. And all the girls really adjusted to it and they just played hard and worked on communicating on the court. An injured player often relies on the team for support. The Warrior Volleyball team is no different. They just supported her as much as she needed it. <laughs> we filled her position and we helped her get better in things. Lexi was not able to play for five days, which can be tough, but now she's back on the court. Um, it was sort of tough not to be able to play, just watching them practice and not being able to go pass the ball or hit one with them, but it, was, it wasn't that bad going in get support him and all that. For SSN, this is Maddie with videographer Alex. Thanks for that report, Maddie. Today, the Severe Student Newspaper staff will hold a, hold a meet in room 340 from 3 to 345 p.m. All students and then all student newspaper members should be sure to attend. The editorial meeting will continue until 5 p.m. Severe's Warrior Dance Team will hold a practice session today. The team will meet from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Sprinkle Gym. Finally, Severe Middle School will be celebrating College and Career Day, Day today. The Kingsport City Schools Administration Support Center encourages all teachers and students to wear their favorite college shirt on this day. In just a few short hours, the John Severe Cafeteria will be serving lunch. Amber is standing by in the cafeteria with today's lunch report. Good morning, Seville. This is Amber reporting from the JSMS Cafeteria. As you can see behind me, the cafeteria is empty, but in just a few short hours, many Seville students will be flooding into the cafeteria. So what's on the menu today? Today's lunch is grilled chicken sandwich or chef salad. Side items in today include potato wedges or California veggies. Today's dessert will be French vegetable cup or cubed cantaloupe cup slash applesauce. T tomorrow morning, the JSMS cafeteria will once be again be serving breakfast. Tomorrow's breakfast will be gravy and biscuit or pineapple juice and pears. Reporting from the, J from the SSN, this is Amber. Now back to the newscast studio. Thank you, Amber. What kind, of, what kind of weather can we expect for tomorrow? Coming up after the break, we'll have your weather report with Joshua. Today's episode of the Sequoia Scribe newscast is brought to you by... Domtar Paper Company, and Hamlet Dobson Funeral Homes. Last night, heavy rains and thunderstorms arrived in the Tri-Cities. If we look at a weather map this morning, there are still some clouds above Kingsport from this storm system. Right now, it is about 68 degrees in Kingsport and partly cloudy. Today, we are looking at a high of 91 degrees. It will be, it will be partly cloudy with a small chance of showers and thunderstorms will be pleasant. Overnight, temperatures will drop to 64 degrees and there will be some patchy fog. Let's take a look at our five-day forecast. 
Temperatures will begin dropping a little bit on Saturday and will fall into the mid-80s. The chance of rain and thunderstorms will be with us all week, but the highest chance right now will probably be on Saturday. This is Joshua in the Severe Weather Central. Now let's go back to the newscast studio. Thank you, Joshua, for that report. Yesterday, the volleyball and football teams were in action. How do they do? Let's check in with Elise, who is standing by in the Severe Sports Center. Severe's teams were in competition last night again. How did they do? Good morning, Warriors. I'm Elise filling in for Keeley. Yesterday, the Warrior Volleyball had a home game against Greenville Middle School. Here are the results. Both the JV and varsity teams got big wins last night. The JV team was able to win their match in two sets. Coach Ferguson told SSN that the junior varsity showed great progress as a team. The varsity team managed to score their sixth win of the season. Also yesterday, the Warrior football team took on Liberty Bell Middle School at Science Hill. Tune in tomorrow for our coverage of this game. Tomorrow, the Lady Warriors volleyball team will take on Vance Middle School in an away game starting at 4.30 p.m. The varsity game will take place right after the JV game. Finally, tomorrow the cross country team will be in action. The team will participate in Warrior Invitational at Warriors Path State Park. The run will be 1.6 miles long and begin at 4.15 p.m. That's it for today's sports report. I'm Elise, reporting from the SSN Sports Center. Now back to the newscast studio for the rest of your school news. Thanks for that report, Elise. Tomorrow, the Bridge Club will meet in Sevier's library from 3 to 4 p.m. Any 6th, 7th, or 8th grade student may join the Bridge Club. Also tomorrow, the JSMS, JSMS Cheer Squad will hold a practice We'll hold a practice. The cheerleaders will practice from 3 to 5 p.m. The natural helpers will meet in Mr. Markle's room tomorrow from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. The group was originally supposed to meet in room 241, but had to relocate because of the health screenings on Friday. Coming up after the break, we will have a new installment of Yep, Did You Know? Today's episode of the Sikosh Garage Newscast is brought to you by Southern Land Construction, Interior and Exterior Remodels and reno Renovations. Today's Yoda to Know is a science question. Yoda to Know what kind of scientist studies insects? Was it A. Cryptozoologist, B. Ornithologist, C. Entomologist, or D. Botanist? Let's put five seconds on the clock and good luck! The correct answer is C. Entomologists study insects. Yo, did you know? That's it for today's installment of the Sequoia Scribe Newscast. Remember to follow us on Twitter and check out our official website for breaking news and information. Join us tomorrow for information on an art and history contest with a big prize. I'm Brody. And I'm Kristen. Have a great day, Severe Middle. <laughs>